Hey everybody, ColinMullen.com is a place where you can get good art. Not like the art you're about to see in the rest of this video, but the art like you're seeing on screen right now. It's good. You could buy it, get it as a print, and hang it up in your house or your whatever, and then people would come over to your house and be like, nice, dude. And then you'd be like, yeah, nice. Anyway, today's subject matter and today's footage, the, the paintings that I'm working on, paintings plural, uh, are kind of intertwined. Um, there's a question I get a lot, and it is basically like, hey, Rev, my art's plateaued. I don't feel like I'm getting any better as an artist. Um, everything I do recently has been crap. I can't, I can't proceed as an artist, and I don't know what to do. How do I get good? What, what's wrong with me? I guess I should just give up on art. I'll never be good at art. And if you're thinking that, this video is for you. Um, what you're watching in this video, these, these paintings that I'm going to be showing, are basically paintings that I feel like turned out poorly, or ones that didn't meet my standards. So they never went up. And so it's about 8 to 15 hours, I'd say, of just raw crap footage. Either the painting didn't turn out right, the footage itself was wrong, uh, just something was wrong about it that I didn't care for. And so instead of uh, posting it, I just have kept it and figured I'd do something with it at some point. Or maybe I'd finish these paintings. But I think what I'm going to do with it is I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use it to illustrate a point. And I think what happens to a lot of people nowadays is they s sort of make up an artist that is better than them. And they do this by going to Tumblr, they go to Twitter, they go to Instagram, they see all these artists that are doing amazing work, that are posting their best work, and they sort of combine them into this mega artist that's like nine years old and can make beautiful work out of dirt and sticks. And they're better than Da Vinci already, and, and why even try when that artist exists that's so much better than you? And, and the reality is that that's a bunch of different artists, and that's their best work. You know, that's the stuff that's getting out there. That's the stuff that's really getting seen and people care about out of all the stuff that they've ever done. And yeah, there are some savants out there, but we're all at different points in our, our career. You may look at some of the ones that I'm going to show you throughout this and be like, man, Rev, that was actually really good. You know, why didn't you continue with that? Um, and I'm sure there's some stuff that you've got lying around that's the same way that some other artists would look at and be like, geez, why? what do you mean that's bad? I think um, one thing that was really important about the way I structured this channel from the very beginning is that I said, I will put out a video on this channel every other week. Not every week, not every day, but every other week. And for the reason that I'm gonna be trying to make something good every week. But life happens, stuff happens in your life where I know I'm not gonna be on point every week, you know? And so if I can, I'll get a little bit ahead of time. If I can't, like I have to do the laundry, do the grocery shopping, I can't paint, I need to stream, I need to go to regular, my nine to five, something's gonna happen where art doesn't work out for me that week, you know? And I've given myself this leeway in being able to just suck, <laughs> you know? I, I think a lot of artists expect themselves to just be on point 100% of the time, and you need to expect and respect yourself that like, you're gonna have days where you suck. And that's not a definition of who you are as an artist. You see all these other artists who do amazing. You see all these other people who are great at art. And then you look at your own art and you're like, man, I'll never be as good as them. Um, that's not how life works, dude. Like, uh, you're, you're gonna have bad days. And when you have those bad days, like, you need to see that as just one of a few hundred paintings that you have to get out of your body. Like, you have to exercise them like demons. Like, they need to be out of your body. You have a few thousand good paintings in you, and you need to get through those bad ones first in order to get to the good ones, you know? Sometimes, when you do art, it's gonna suck. Don't beat yourself up when you do something that isn't good. That's unrealistic to expect that every single work you do is a masterpiece. Let's take someone who actually has masterpieces and as an example. Uh, Vincent van Gogh, right? Okay, so he lived until he was 37. He put out about 2,000 something drawings and paintings that we know of. Um, of those, I'm gonna bet that unless if you studied his life fairly extens extensively, you probably only know about four, give or take. And that's Potato Eaters, if you're an art history student, um, Bedroom in All Days, um, Starry Nights, 
sunflowers. Like those are the, the four that you probably know out of the thousands that he did, right? He was incredibly prolific that he was putting out that many paintings a week. Um, a year, I should say. Like that's, that's basically one a week for the entirety of his life. And with a little bit more speed and reputation than that. That's, that's insane for an artist. That's a lot of workload when you think about it. Um, I put myself in a situation with this channel and I gave myself a goal with this channel that it's not that I have to come out with a video every week. It's that I need to put paint on canvas every week. And I think that's a reasonable goal to expect of yourself. Not that you finish a drawing or a painting or whatever, that you just sit down and for five minutes, for a minute even, just put one stroke onto the, the canvas, the painting, the, the page or whatever you do a week. Like that is a reasonable expectation. Expecting yourself to do good every single time is not reasonable and you shouldn't do that. Now, a lot of people have been asking for uh, tips and tricks on how to get better faster. Um, practice is gonna be the main one. And I need to have like a full video on specifically good practices, um, like good ways of practicing art. And I, I will be doing that probably in the next video. But I feel like this one needs to come first. Like you need to internalize this. Stop being so dang hard on yourself. It's not doing you any good. And I realize that some of you guys probably have anxiety and depression and I don't know. It's just sort of the, the mood of this generation in a lot of ways. And it's sort of a thing that happens with artists. But um, what you need to expect from yourself is that every now and then you're going to suck. Like a basketball player doesn't go on the court every single time breaking records. Uh, a football player doesn't run, you know, an amazing game every single time. This is a physical activity. I know you don't think of it like that, probably, but it is. It's not just a mental thing. It's not just a, um, you know, creative thing or whatever. Like you're gonna make mistakes. And one of the best things you can do is make mistakes because in a lot of these paintings, like they go in an interesting direction, but they don't really turn out the way I wanted. But I learned something from them and I've been adapting it to my style and I've been, you know, working through that stuff, becoming better and becoming, uh, stronger as an artist because of it. So what I hope that I can um, maybe show off in this is that just like, it's okay to make mistakes. In fact, I encourage it. Go outside of your comfort zone, do something that you're not really comfortable with, but something that would be cool if you could pull it off, right? Um, and allow yourself to have those failures um, because that, that kind of defines your style what you eventually settle on that you're like, man, this didn't turn out right, but I bet I could do it next time. And hopefully eventually you have um, something that you really enjoy, you know? You got, you got your entire life to make masterpieces. Not every single one of these has to be a masterpiece. And you need to stop thinking about every single artist that exists as one mega artist. You know, you need to stop seeing everyone as like this goal to attain. You need to just accomplish where you're at in your journey and push yourself forward there. And that means not being so hard on yourself. That means um, continuing to try even when things go bad. Just do the art that you wanna do, you know? There's a lot of self-direction that I could tell you. I could be like, oh, do this study, do that thing. A lot of it comes down to just like, um, you know, following your gut on what you want to do, you know? I've talked about in previous things about like inspiration and stuff like that, but what I want to, I really want to drive home in this video is that you're gonna have bad paintings and it doesn't mean you're a bad artist, you know? And maybe you look back and you see some paintings you did in the past and you're like, man, those suck. What was I thinking? Those weren't good. A, that may be your depression speaking. B, that might just be that maybe like, you've learned something new about art. Maybe you've become better as an artist and that's why you can see those faults in your art now. It's not that you're bad at art, it's that you can see the, the flaws in your previous art. You've become a better artist by knowing those things. So if there's anything to take away from this, it's don't be so hard on yourself. I don't expect perfection of myself. You shouldn't expect perfection of yourself because that's unrealistic, you know? 
So when you see good paintings from me, when you see good art from other people, understand that they probably had a few crappy drawings in there before they made some good ones. And just allow yourself that leeway. And you may say that these are good, these paintings that I'm showing you. I'm sure there's some artist out there that's looking up to you and sees, or sees what you're doing and sees it as good. Like, we're at different parts of our journey. You need to treat yourself with a little more respect. Um, but anyway, let me thank the people on my Patreon, starting with Flanexia Theoran. Uh, thank you so much. Thank you to my beautiful almost wife, Tilda. We're working on that. Next year, we'll we'll get married, and that'll be great. Uh, thank you to TBG Kairu. It's very kind of you. Um, I think I'm pronouncing your name right. Not sure. Uh, thank you to Gray. I'm just going to call you Gray. I'm pretty sure that's how it's meant to be said, but thank you for your support. Um, thank you to Mafa, and thank you for all the support through the charity. It went great. I'm saying that in advance of actually the charity starting. I'm recording this in advance because I've, <laughs> I've got to go to work, uh, but I wanted to make sure that this video existed. Thank you to Rebecca Olmsnia. I am not pronouncing your name right. Please correct me. Thank you to Plex. Um, that's very kind of you. And then lastly, thank you to Gur X Mistress uh, for your support. You guys are awesome and you're helping me uh, make my dreams come true. And I'm hoping that um, through whatever rambling crap advice I give in these videos, that something hits home and you decide to stick it out. Because at some point, I wanna show you guys like my old work from when I was like a teenager. And you'll see that like, if I had just pushed myself, if I had just like not been so hard on myself and not given up some of the times I did, I'd probably be even a better artist than I am now. And that maybe what you see in my old work, you can see in yourself and push through that to get to uh, a higher level. Anyway, uh, normally I'd sign off and I'd sign the painting, but none of these are done. So they're not gonna get signed, but I hope that you enjoyed what you saw and I will see you in a couple weeks. Thank you so much. Bye.